last time I showed you how I transformed my dry, crusty hair, which had been in a sew-in for a minute, and how I transformed it using some temporary hair paint wax by ORS. It was a messy process, but it was also so much fun. You really have to check out the Curls Unleashed Color Blast by ORS, really cool stuff. Anyway, some of y'all asked, how does it hold up? You know, how long does it last? Does it transfer? How did you sleep with this hair? How did you take care of it? You know, y'all wanted details. So I am going to share what really happened with my hair. Okay, stay tuned. So it is day three of me wearing the temporary hair wax or hair paint. And yes, I did wear it out yesterday. So yes, I had the nerve to step outside like that. And I also actually got to see the kids and Nana. And of course, they were all surprised. Anyway, let me show you. Today, I didn't feel like doing my hair. And it, eh, it's a hot mess. It is stiff. It is hard because this hair wax is very much like hair gel. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Some of y'all are like, I can't believe you're showing yourself like this. I know, but you wanted to know, didn't you? You wanted to know, didn't you? So I'm showing you. It looks horrible. I know, dry, hard, hard like a rock. It's not moving. <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> This is what happens, okay? So it looks good day one, but after day one, it's not good. It's not good. Comb it? Comb it? Absolutely not. We are not doing that. That is the best way to break type 4 hair. But I'm not worried. I have solutions, okay? We are going to save our hair. We have taken time to grow our hair. So let's go to the shower. All right, so your best friend is hot steam. Even if I didn't have this hair wax or hair paint in my hair, when my hair has no product in it and it's tangled or it's difficult, the best thing is hot steam. So I literally turn on the hot water and just stand there. My hair is not actually touching the water, just the steam softens my hair and then it starts to release those tight curls. So my hair suddenly starts to feel softer and bouncier and it just starts to come alive. It's amazing. Our hair is magic. Appreciate it more. Shrinkage is good <laughs> when your hair is wet, okay? But when it's dry, that can be a little dangerous. So here you go. It's a lot looser. It's not as loose as I would like it, but it is a lot looser. I will use a rat tail comb to help me part ouchless rubber bands and some regular rubber bands. And basically the whole point of this is to show that I can extend the use of this hair dye, right? I mean, I could have easily washed it out in the shower and started from scratch, but I wanted to see what it would be like if I wanted to keep this hair dye in my hair. And this is basically kind of the maintenance. So I'm trying to part my hair. Again, it's still kind of dry, so I would definitely use a lot of warm water. I don't want it drenching wet. I just want it damp enough to kind of unravel any tangles that may form or unravel the tight curls, right? So always using my fingers first, and then I use the rat tail comb. And this is pretty much what I do when I don't have product in my hair. So very gentle. The whole goal is to retain not only your length, but also just to retain your hair in general. And so, you know, I am very, very gentle, very, very careful. And I spray again, a lot of warm water on my hair. So no product is in there, just warm water. But it makes it so much easy to, or easier to now part without worrying about snapping my hair, right? So I don't suggest you really do this unless you are that comfortable or patient. <laughs> Keyword patient. Because um, again, you want a hairstyle, you're not trying to pull out your hair. All right, so I'm going to use one of the larger ouchless ba bands to um, section off into kind of like, a, I guess a mini ponytail. 
you know? And then I tug at the ends. Did you notice I never used a comb? I have not put a comb to my hair, but my hair I know is not tangled because the trick is when you kind of stretch or pull on the hair gently, it elongates the strands and it keeps them from being tangled. At least this is what works with my hair. So you don't always need a comb because sometimes a comb can be a lot more damaging, especially when you have product in your hair if your hair is super dry. So as you can see, I have a, I don't know, what would you call that? Is that like a ponytail or, or a hair puff, a double hair puff, elongated hair puff? Um, I don't know. You know, I'm just going to keep going. I have an idea for a style in my head. <laughs> yes, I should call it. The style is called I Tried. But no, you're going to help me come up with a name for this hairstyle because I don't know what to call it. But you'll see when we're done. You'll see. So as you can see, again, I continue to kind of stretch the hair a little bit. And then add the rubber bands. Yeah, my hands look crazy. So again, the thing about this hair dye is it really does not transfer once it is dried. So when it was on my hair, it was not going on my clothes. But once you wet it, once you wet it and you put your hands in your hair, yes. Okay, so let's get our makeup done. Our hair is done. Adding a little bit of foundation. I just thought, you know what? We went from doing hair. Let's turn this into a get ready with me. And this is the Giorgio Armani uh, foundation and some concealer from Sephora to go under my eyes in particular. To me, when you're putting on makeup, if you have those dark circles under your eyes as you get older, this is a must. You must have concealer. <laughs> and then of course, I always follow it with some liquid eyeliner. This is just my signature look. I've done this for years forever and then now I'm adding some purple kind of eyeshadow under my eye to go with the hair and this is the look what do you think it's different it's different ah <laughs> but it's also so fun I it's I don't know it's afrocentric for those who don't get it and also it reminds me of Janet Jackson back in the 90s or is that a stretch remember velvet rope Okay, I got my silver jewelry on to go with the black and my hoops and my silver necklace. And you won't believe it's like three o'clock in the morning and I have this much energy <laughs> in real time. Okay, so yeah, what do you think? I know it's not for everyone. This hairstyle is definitely like special occasion. You're going to a fashion show. You just want to stand out. Oh, by the way, I just did my edges. Okay, I decided to go ahead and do my edges. All right, so let's give you another option if you don't like this look. Let's go ahead and pull these puffs up and see if we can do an updo. I don't know. Let's see how it turns out. You tell me if you like this look better. Okay, it's kind of neat, right? There you go. Since we all like to dress up, I have this Northern Nigerian outfit. It's a man's outfit. I think it was for one of my brothers, but they're not wearing it. So I've decided I'm going to see what it looks like on me. It's huge. Like it's not quite what I expected, but I think I'm going to make it work. I've got on some earrings, but I think the scale is not quite right. So I'm going to put these on. These are like Fulani earrings or they're called Fulani earrings here in America. And let me show you what I'm looking like. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. This this top is big, okay? And I think it's making me look bigger. And then I have the pants on. But I love the fabric. I don't usually wear brown. I love the sheen on this outfit. Again, it's a man's outfit. But I'm going to make it work. <laughs> and what do you think of the hair, by the way? Does it go? I think it looks cool, right? The hair is good. I don't know about the outfit. Okay, so let me take out this hair and see if I can work with this outfit some. So I took off the pants. I was like, you know what? These man's pants are not working. I'm going to add some snake print boots, American snake print boots, girl boots, and also this bag from Nigeria, vintage snake skin. And let's see, I did my hair differently, put it all together, and this is what we came up with. I feel better, I think this is a look. Tell me this is not a look. 
tell me this is not a look. <laughs> and to the Nigerian people, if you're watching, let me know. Is this a hit or a miss? Let me know. Did I bomb or does this look cute? I'm sure if you saw me walking down the street here in the U.S., you would not know that's a man's top, right? And maybe even in Nigeria, you would not know that was meant for a man. So anyway, what was your favorite look? The afro? Did you like that? The original afro? Or did you like these crazy elongated puffs? Again, tell me what we should call this hairstyle. <laughs> Looks like spider's legs. <laughs> and, or did you prefer the updo? Let me know. Either way, I hope this video inspires you to do something fun, something bold with your hair or outfit. But of course, if you're working a corporate job or something very conservative, wait until the weekend before you do something crazy. 